a little more physical, uh, win more battles, uh, just be a little harder out there. I feel like I felt like the uh, last two games, uh, you know, they've been coming out a little uh, more physical and won more battles than we have in the first period, and that's something that we uh, usually don't lose. So, I mean, that's something we got to change for sure. Just looking at the level of play of your goaltender, uh, when it's been 2-0, he's made a lot of key saves, big moments to keep it 2-0. Uh, how big has he been for you guys so far in this series? Yeah, huge. I mean, obviously, uh, both him and, and Copper, they always give us a chance to win the games, uh, even though we're not playing the best, uh, the best we can. So that's obviously great you know uh, being down two nothing after a period that we're not happy with this uh, you know is a good thing because you're still kind of in the game and uh, and uh, it's just uh, yeah giving us a chance every night to win the game is, uh, is obviously huge it seems like Edmonton's four check pressure has been pretty yeah that's pretty aggressive and we always focus on defensemen in that situation, how to break it. As a forward, what can you do to help break that pressure? Uh, yeah, I mean, we got to try to screen them a little bit. Obviously, when they get in on the forecheck, just uh, slow them down a little bit so our D can get back to the puck and have just an extra maybe half second with the puck. I think that's going to be obviously a big key as well, just to have that extra second uh, where you can put your head up and make a play instead of just... Uh, knowing you have a guy on your back all the time and instead of just uh, putting it against the wall every time. So, I mean, that's going to be something that we uh, we have to do as forwards too, just uh, keep, them in, uh, uh, keep them in a little slower, holding them up a little bit so our D can get back and make a play. After the last game, you said that you didn't feel the team was ready to go at the start. Do you say anything different this time? Do you do anything different this time to make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, I mean, I think we've talked about it. We talked about it after the first game, and then we really talked about it after the second game. So now I feel like uh, it's on us if we're not ready tonight. Obviously, uh, won one game on the road uh, out of two. So, I mean, I think we're pretty happy with that, uh, even though we haven't played our best yet. So, I mean, I think uh, right now everybody is uh, pretty excited to, to come back to LA and play. And I think... Uh, I hope that everybody's ready to go. Of course, we all know that it can be very emotional when you're on the ice in, in the postseason. How do you keep your emotions in check with, with so much at stake? Yeah, I'm obviously, don't, you don't want to take too many penalties out there. Obviously, it's a hard physical battle, and uh, and people try to get under your skin and try to make you do something stupid and take penalties. And obviously, you just try to you know keep some ice in your in your head and and just stay cool and uh, and then uh, obviously it's a good thing if you don't take penalties but obviously we have to be harder out there and things like that like i said before so i mean uh, it's uh, it's a good balance between being uh, you know uh, fired up and and not taking super penalties we talked to Tal this year about you kind of taking a next step in your development, maybe being able to take games with a scrub of the neck more this season. Is that a mentality shift where you now have the confidence to know no matter who you're out there against, you can kind of impose your game plan on them? Uh, yeah, I think so. And uh, obviously, uh, you have to know who you're out there against all the time, and especially against a team like this. You know, when they have a couple players that are really dangerous, you got to know when they're out there. You got to know uh, what D's are out there and stuff like that. But obviously, I uh, I've learned how to play against those type of guys, and I think now it's. Uh, you know, we play against uh, the top lines every night, and uh, and you got to be prepared for that. You can't just have a couple of shifts off and all that, because then they're going to tap you. So I mean, uh, it's uh, just a mentality of being ready, uh, ready to go when the game starts.